What do I think about Sykes not taking my advice? Um, no, he's he's taking my advice. You're not watching the games if you're and you don't understand what I was advocating for. If you think he's not taking any of my advice, uh, most of the stuff that I asked for him to do was was laning better, um, pulling things like that, buying better starting item builds. Like you're looking too much at I don't know the the his playstyle, and I don't think his playstyle is as, as important as the starting items and how much he pulls and zones the offlaner. He doesn't know how to try lane. He didn't before. Now he understands how to do it. He's just not good at it yet. And sometimes he gets a little bit too diverted by replays. And I watched like, or by uh, map movement. And I watched like four or five of his replays last night. So he's still, he's getting there. And it's definitely an improvement. Um, honestly, he does he does at least one pull now. Like it's that's a huge difference compared to what he was doing in the past. I don't know if SB is a good hero. It's actually quite bad against Underlord. Spirit um, I don't know what we're doing with One Ranger. I'm not playing rank because I'm with a party of friends, so that's all. Maybe I should buy an Iron Talon level one. Oh, hit advantage. Yes. Can I have a word, please? Chachi, I think you're supporting. The way is clear. Or we can dual lane. You can come top with me, Chachi. And I can do like a mix of Iron Talon. You can get experience, or we can dual lane it. We could actually probably dual lane this so easy. Coach Sykes, I've already done that. Um, oh, live coach as in like coach him while he's playing. I could, yeah. Um, most of the difference is that I think the best the best thing about live coaching is that it'll give you what it usually does is it um, gives people what it feels like to be ahead in a game where normally they'd be behind because then they experience like all the advantage from levels and gold gain and pulls being effective and their offlane being under leveled. They'll feel the difference and understand why it's better. For Slax, it was more I verbalized all, and he doesn't, he hasn't really gotten like a perfect early game yet. How much MMR is good? Um, that's a really, a really hard to answer question. So it really just depends on tons of factors. I think. Want to just yes. the battle begins. The peace is broken. I've suggested. I feel like I'm a little stuttery with my video. I'm not sure though. I should probably just close more of my windows. Look there. I think that actually made it worse somehow. I did not know that was possible. I also probably should have went up to block. I have the scent. See where he ends up warding. So, um I run rampant. So by blocking the large camp. I should really limit their gold gain. Pushing. Oh, he's actually pushing. He's going to now realize. So my wave is 100% going to push now, because, oh, actually I've got two range creeps, we're good. 
This means that I should probably just sit in the area then. Because I know they can't pull this back because the large camp is still blocked. And they're probably confused about that. So I'm going to get free experience. I would normally go jungle here. But because I know I'm about to get experience. Excuse me. Pudge is still two. Or is two. So I actually have to be really worried about him. Poking me. He's actually running mid though. So I'm pretty much free to do whatever I want here. That was nice. Free hits on this guy. I'm just going to get one skill point in this because uh, it's free movement speed. Oh well. Got to disconnect. Um, just wanted to grab this because it's an extra 6%. Um, for me, that gives me like... 10% is 29.5, so 6 is something like 15, 20 movement speed. I personally kind of like getting a 1 level early. I think it's reasonable. I like the skill point, and I'm going to get a lot of experience in this lane because these guys don't know how to lane very well, clearly. didn't have enough attacks there. Only way I could have gone that is if I like had uh, a charge point to nuke. And I'm just trying to get this as close to my wave as possible. So I'm gonna block. Occasionally right click your opponents because you could get lucky and bash them. Like right now I haven't bashed in a long time. Yeah, That's why I went for that because I knew there was a high chance of getting a bash off. If I just bash this guy twice I win. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, that was a good chance. So I actually just played SB like a day or two ago, and what I did actually was I went a lot of, I think I got a Ring of Health in lane or something, and I think I built a Vanguard. I don't know if I want to do that this game though. This is looking like a hood game potentially. Um, I actually can't buy a Ring of Health over there, which is annoying. So I think what I'm going to do is this. Um, oh shit, Edge Edge, 41 months. I think you're, I think you're definitely in the top five of my, in terms of my long-term Twitch subs. Looks like they did a pull, but it's probably just like a solo pull, most likely. Run with me, little creeps. I think I'm gonna get more bash levels, because I could just like win the lane with it. wave pushes, my HP might not be full, which is a little scary. This is kind of like an old school way to get regen, really, considering... It looks like they're kind of controlling this a little bit. Let's tinker mid. I could also do like a smoke charge towards mid. I'm also a little early. This wave isn't going to be on my tower for another bit of time. What I should have actually done is ran to top rune instead. I think that would have been better. Because I could be here right now, grab rune, and then start walking to top lane, which is going to start prep prepping for push, and now I might not get here before Tinker gets here. Alright, I can maybe gank with this. I think the ward's there. Could be here too. Like, if I was there at the 4 minute mark, Tinker wouldn't have been there, because he was still middle. So I could have grabbed the invis, or if I got hooked by just pudge, then it just would have been pudge. But instead they are waiting for that. It's actually really detrimental, because now I'm losing this experience as well. But I'm pretty sure the ward is there. So I should play around that for the future. Look at all this experience that I lost. That was like a whole creep wave and a catapult. I would have liked to bash there. That would have been nice. He also has regen. Which makes my job a little harder. I think I still want to max this out. I'm just gonna let all these attack. There's so many creeps. It's the only one that I'm gonna kill fast. There goes my bash. I'm still leveling insanely fast though. I'm almost level 6 at 6 minutes. It's really OP. If we get any damage. Hey Jerry, can you come gank top in a moment? When I'm 6, we can easily kill anti mage you and me, I think. Actually, I don't have enough points in Charge of Darkness. Because my guaranteed stun isn't very high. I should have probably gotten more levels. Upon this plane. 
Yeah, that's fine. Just delayed a bit. I think we might have to wait till I'm like seven or something because I didn't get enough charge. Spirit Breaker has huge survivability at level one, by the way. I have to prep this one. Oh, I actually didn't think. Or did he have an biz? So actually, controlled this lane a little bit accidentally here. One world is much like another. Okay, they're behind him right now. All this might be a appropriate time to get. Probably power treads first. I run rampant. <laughs> I still haven't bashed yet, so I'm gonna try again. There we go. Okay, not having mana here. Because I don't honestly expect. Pommies use magic resistant, and I'm like, all magic damage bash is actually magical, it's not physical or anything, so. I actually feel like that would do more damage to hit a person along the way because then it does an auto bash. Break you down. Kevin, are you ready, uh, I have to get mana first. Um, let me go heal um, and then you can come top with me maybe. 1.6. Yeah, I think I think we just have to combo the two st my two stuns with your right click so we can kill me easy. So yeah, just save some of your mana and then we should be able to get them. I think your items are perfect for this. So, I'm gonna go back. I'm going to get a... Maybe a windlace. Is that crazy? Is that too stupid? Is that too... Impurposeful. Or you could go on timber. We could do either. God, I am getting jumpy too. I think that's my flux turning on though. Radiant structure. Meet me at tier 2, and we'll smoke there. So just start running at him. I'm going to charge a little early. You can run at him whenever you use overpower now. There's a ward at that rune spot. Perfect. Now we're just going to move around the map and keep doing that every time I have my ult. Go farm the jungle while I'm in lane. And then if somebody shows up we can do it again. So one reason when when lace is kind of good on this hero is because... Um, more movement speed means you get more damage from your bash. And two points of Charge of Darkness is important because that's stun duration that can set us up with a uh, my follow up another strike, so I get like two bashes instead. I kind of want to go, um, kind of want to go for something like Midas, but if I get treads, I get a new combo. I'm just gonna try to play this really safe, and then uh, maybe can kill him in a second. Just keep hiding in jungle. I can. 17 seconds. When I get this, you can come back and we can kill him again. Look there. Yeah, I'll get another stun duration, this will guarantee it. You should start heading back, I'm ready to kill him right now. Between the planes. Just wait like right there or something. You know, he, he kind of waited too long. He went all the way over there to farm for some reason. And said he could have just... Just wait until he comes back to farm. You can farm the large camp in the meantime if you really want to. Here comes the TP, it's going to be Tinker. We can kill that guy too. There's three bottom with Tinker kind of in mid.
Good job. No, no, I, I think it was fine. I, I know you are kind of in a bad spot. I think that was okay, though. That's how we should just keep playing. Like, you, you and me kill anybody with your disable. I mean, with your right-click. Uh, get one level of your clap, though, I think. And I think go blink next. That way we can do this even easier. But I think we're doing fine. I think I need to go for... Oh, this is actually doing pure damage. Maybe it's just buy, like, a blade mill or something. the tool honestly it'll leverage my um i'm gonna go heal and do the same thing um i'm gonna go heal and then i'm gonna tp top and then we can kill am again just keep farming in the area jerry it's perfect because he can just farm in these two positions and he's always in a great place to set up and take fights Alright, uh, get ready. I'm gonna charge the aim, I think. Aim, aim for him. Using ulti. I think we don't see what you're trying to do there, Chris. You son of a bitch. Yo, I didn't want him blinking away, man. Hey, Chris, use your ultimate. You know, save a word. It's about time I got a bash, Jesus. I think that's actually my first time getting a bash on somebody. They definitely had a ward that scouted me charging like that, though. So, um... Now, if during downtime, if I'm waiting on cooldowns, I'll just farm in the meantime, so they don't really know where I'm gonna be. set up for rush. I can obviously try to do like a... I think it would have been nice if he smoked me with him, personally. Correct. I'm really far away, but stay in the area. Stay in the area. I do have my ultimate. Alright, commit. Commit to him. Okay, Chris, I get it. I get it, you're a dick. So many fucking asshole excuses. That's so much shit. Alright, um, I think I'm gonna go pipe now. That way I'm pretty survivable. I'm gonna charge top. Um, pipe, I want to pipe with blade mail, because if you get just pipe, and I just get hit by pure damage from, like, Timber, then what Timber does is he just kills me through it. Oh, man, we did get the Aegis, so that's good. And then I will become relatively survivable against heroes like Tinker. And also, a blade mill with survivability items actually works better than it used to. In the past, it uh, only did the damage that you take, but now it does the damage that you were thrown that was thrown at you. So you can buy stuff like pipe, and it's actually beneficial as an interaction. Can you keep an eye on him? Go for him, Chris. Oh, 
there's so many heroes here. Oh, I should have just ultied him there, huh? I'm gonna stay in the area. If somebody, somebody should just like sit behind me up here, because me plus one here kills anybody. I'm coming, Chachi. Go ahead. think I should I'm back in. Next time Chachi attack first before you throw your shackle because you, you waste damage. Can we sentry this cliff? There's a ward there. Start building like um, team fight items or like utility items. Usually, when I play SP, I go too heavily into like items that make me survivable, which I think is a mistake. Because um, at some point, I have to rely on my allies, and it's not always the right choice to make. So, I think what I'm gonna do can you almost go top? I think we can kill Timber. He's got way too much HP. Push the wave. Uh, I didn't think I was gonna get eight bashes in a row. I just gave him so much gold. No, I didn't. Apparently, we we're losing really bad. We have like no farm. If I if I just gave two hundred gold to that guy, we must be really far behind. That's the only explanation. I don't know how. Maybe we're just under farming, but... If I had any other hero there, I could easily kill them too. I, I thought I maybe could kill him solo, but you know, I, was, I just needed like one more bash at the end and that was just unrealistic. However, if I buy something like SB next, then I, I can... I mean, Okay, we just need to farm in aggressive places, like top. Like if somebody just um, farms the jungle up there, like literally their whole jungle, then they can always be there when I charge top, for example. Like AM right now, we could go gank him, for example. Don't show on the creep wave though, Chris. Just start moving towards AM a little bit. And after we kill this creep wave, I'll just start charging him. Alright, go in the timber if he walks. See if he has vision. See? Easy. So, uh, you can push the lane, I'll just jungle or something. We just keep doing this. They still have vision. Pud. I don't know, they always have vision. They always like hook where we are. Yes. I'm going on, I'm just going on. I'm gonna count that one too. So 
Oh, no, I'll just try to transition now. Blade Mill's pretty nice, because now Tinker can't do a full combo on me without... You know, just... The only problem is we're killing this kind of slow. Check for some common ward spots as you farm through the jungle, Chris. They have a sentry, they have a sentry bottom. They're just all bottom. We should just keep killing uh, Tinker now. I think he's the only person that can uh, win them the game. Of course. I wonder if an Echo Saber is reasonable for this hero. I guess it kind of is, huh? I've actually never thought about that before. Echo is B. It's probably way more mana than I need, though, is one problem. Let's uh, get wards up covering our jungle then, I think. Any possibility going on that guy? Yeah, no there now. Oh, that's too bad. That's a good idea to set up like that though. Just hang out in the area, stay invis near him, and then in interrupt when I charge. That's how we should play countering him. Especially pre-blink, because he's got blink. Soon, I mean. Let me get uh, this at least one creep here, Chris. Okay, thanks. So I'll go SB, I think, and then I'm gonna get, um... That way I can move around a little bit more. Guess it's maybe a mistake because... Chachi also has one. But it will be attack speed, and then I can get, like, Echo Saber after or something. Now next question, do I drop Iron Talon? I don't think I do. You know, I think I'm going to actually. Look there. Let's uh, be aggressive on round bot. I feel like they can split better than us. Um, they can't because we have an SP. We just need to have heroes in position when I charge. I'm going on AM. Oh, I clicked too late. Let's go look for him at the large camp. That's where he's going to be. I'm going on this guy. I mean, I wanted to help. I'm in a bad spot. I don't think that. they know. The Jerry's also getting rushed, so this is perfect for us right now. I'm gonna go top. Can anyone prep to top, TP top? I'm gonna charge him. Fuck, I didn't get him. I should've been faster. Fuck. Give me a hero, give me a hero. I have an SP, I've been could have SP'd this whole time. Alright, one of these is real, I don't know which one. Well, they all took so much damage that I thought they were all illusions. That was a mistake. I think I'm still gonna go Echo Saber though. I don't know why SPs don't go that already. I mean, it's because nobody plays SP in a farming role. Can we have somebody sitting behind me up here? I think we fight mid here. Oh no, they're leaving. Oh, the Dark Rift. Keep forgetting to use the uh, the Hood of Defiance. Actually, it does really good damage. So we basically just have to make sure there's no place that they can farm. Um, I'll sell Windlace to get this last item. Should be just enough gold, actually. Can I just get that small creep? I just want the small one. Indeed. 
We could hang on this area, maybe, too. Or, actually, Tinker's gonna go bottom, I think. Uh, Chachi, can you... Like, whenever a lane is pushed, that's always where Tinker's gonna go. So that's where you should hang out, Chachi. Or farm, like, where you are top. Because I guarantee Tinker's probably farming their jungle or TP into the bot lane right now. So they're definitely not farming very well at the moment. Oh, that's my iron town, I forgot to sell that. Yes. I wish I had any way to actually see in there. Need like a blink dagger or something. As long as he shift cues that he's safe. That's worth it. It looks like he got more gold, but it's easily worth it for us. Because he's not farming in the meantime. Should have done strength trades. This is actually a really good way to abuse SB because his BAT is really bad, which means um, attack speed items don't give him as much value as they would for other heroes. I'm really far away. You can actually SB while you're charging too. If I would have pressed it at the start, I think um, I think that would have gone a lot better. Next item, uh, could buy Silver Edge for generic stats, could go Pipe of Insight. Yeah, I mean I would have blocked 325 magic damage there. Would have saved me like uh, 175 HP. I probably wouldn't have beaten him though. Could get an Ags. I don't think that's terrible. Lowers my cooldown to 20 seconds. I'm already pretty high utility right now. Um, that or AC, maybe. Um, I could go Moonshard. I could get MKB. Kind of like the MKB AD, actually. I think that's what I'm probably going to do. Because I'm already attacking faster because of Echo Saber. That's what I'm thinking. He needs to blink. Alright, he's dead now. He should have left, that wasn't safe. We can definitely still lose. Like, that's how far ahead we are, or like, super far ahead. Should I buy a pipe though? It's 1300. I feel like that's kind of expensive. It's useful, but hood is so... Like, a lot of people are just buying hoods right now on some course because it's 1700 gold for a huge increase in survivability. I like this Echo Saber idea though. I think it's good. I think other times I was playing SBOs relying too much on just my charge ult. And I don't think that's a good way to transition the hero. Uh, in fact, it doesn't transition the hero at all. Wow, they're actually so far behind. Only problem is now I'm a little bit limited on item slots. Go set up jungle for me. Uh, somebody with invis like Chachi. Just like move to their jungle, we can kill him easy. So, I can go sell this. Flads. Break you down. I will. Upon 
someone to invis. It's hard to kill all these guys. Because we're all sitting in base, that's why we're so ahead in terms of farm. Between the planes. All paths lead to conflict. What if using this one I'm charging stops my charge? I don't think it should because Shadow Blade doesn't. Turn my blade on when I fought that pudge. I don't even remember. Bad, Chachi, not bad. I must say, I'm liking that Ghost Saber. I think that was a really good idea. So strength hero, he needs a little bit of mana regen. I've always been thinking about this item in terms of a Bash hero, but I never thought about it on an SP before. Um, I think my blade mail was... Okay, it was bad this game kind of because I didn't play effectively and I don't think I used it super well. But I think my itemization was alright. The uh, early hood I think was good too. They're pretty magic heavy. In some ways it might be a lot better than a Vanguard too, because Vanguard just stops scaling at some point. There was like an armor item that also gave regen that would make more sense maybe as a late game solution. That wasn't like Lotus Orb or something. Lotus Orb's kind of expensive. Is that for me? Well, that went quite well. This is faster back to base. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is this. Do I really have to... Uh... Return my items, courier, or I can get my items this way. Oh no, return. All right, there we go. So now, with all my bashes, I can mini bash and I can greater bash. Hell yes. So this should allow me to massively interrupt my opponents and their ability to do things. I think my attack speed is really bad. 
that part needs work, but that's 15, 25, 30. It's not terrible. This doesn't give you any, but it gives you the double hit. Eh. Oh, this build feels really, really random, but it kind of works. some damage. Chachi, per usual. Alright. SB. Yeah, you gotta get from, like, that laning stage into experience, and then you have to do a little bit of, a little bit of coordination stuff. Like, if you don't coordinate your ganks with SB early, then the hero's pretty bad, because it's hard for you to solo kill. As you saw with me versus Timber, like I played versus a Timber, and I was way ahead of that guy. Like, I felt like I was in a really good position, and I just completely fed to him. I mean, he has an SB counter, because if I don't kill him, he gets away easy, and he can lower my overall HP, but, um, yeah, it was, the build felt okay. I like the Echo Saber. 10 attack speed. Oh, I forgot that gives attack speed. 10 attack speed, 10 strength. So give me 10 damage. Give me 25 damage. That's a good uh, SB item. Kind of. Mostly good. 